In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 5 texture packs that make MCPE look more like Java Edition. The downloads can be found in the description down below, but without further ado, let's get started with today's awesome video. On the number 5 spot, we are starting off very strong with the VDX Java UI version 1.1 texture pack right over here, which basically gives you uh, Java UI right over here. So bam, here we go. This is actually a texture pack that gives us the Java UI. We have play game, profile, marketplace, options, all that good stuff. and it's literally everything you would expect from Java Edition except on your phone. So this will definitely give you that illusion of Java Edition. And you guys, for some reason, really like to have the illusion of Java Edition on your phone. So I decided to just why not make this video. Here is how the realms look like. And if you're wondering, yes, it even does have that world loading animation, which I'll show you guys how to do right now. So look, uh, I'm basically going to make a world right now. And uh, it's a little bit glitched out, not gonna lie, but this still does work and it still gets the job done. And you will notice that it actually does work for 1.17 and it gives us that nice loading screen that every, you know, Minecraft Java world has. So, bam, that's honestly pretty cool. And just like normal Java, we get all these cool options over here. So, I'm just gonna be typing it in. And uh, you'll notice that our text is at the bottom, like you would normally expect from Minecraft Java Edition. You will also see that we get this button over here that will basically allow us to copy and paste what we typed in previously so we can full-on spam over here that is honestly very useful if you ask me because of course that is something that you would normally only be able to do exclusively to Java edition so that's honestly pretty cool if you ask me and uh, here's how some of the other settings look like so as you can tell you can basically do everything over here and even if you go to the settings over here you'll notice that the entire menu is still from the Java UI over here we have our options and it's pretty accurate Obviously, it's not going to be 100% accurate, but you know what? It gets the job done, and I'm just going to turn out my FOV for the video, but you'll notice that we can basically see everything. We can change our video settings over here, and it's exactly like Java Edition. It's completely different to Pocket Edition, and uh, yeah, this texture pack is good. It's a classic, and it's very reliable, but anyways, guys, that'll pretty much it for the number 5 spot. Let's head on to the number 4 spot. On the number 4 spot, we have the Utility HUD texture pack over here, which is actually meant to give you some characteristics from Minecraft Java Edition, which I'll show you guys right now one of those being the hitbox so you can actually see uh, your hitbox right over here which is something that you would normally be able to do in like Java debug mode or something like that um, but yeah you can actually do it on pocket edition now and on top of that just like Java edition you will get a little health indicator above the player over there which is honestly very cool you'll also notice that at the center or like the the upper center of our screen has this speed counter over here so basically it's how fast you go in meters per second I believe I could be wrong but the, yeah that's honestly super cool so look if I stand still it's at zero but if I go all the way sprinting it's at like 5.61 so that's honestly pretty cool but it's really cool how we get this uh, beautiful looking um, hitbox over here which of course are the white lines and basically if you hit me in the white blocks like if you hit me within the white box then I will take damage which is honestly super cool and super duper useful and what's good about this pack is that you can even use it in servers as well all right, so I am over here in a realm, and as you can tell, it even does work in servers just like these. We can see all of our armor UI over here, and we can even see it in the corner of our screen. And of course, our coordinates do show up as well. So this is honestly a very useful um, texture pack. It gets the job done, and it does make your game appear to be more Java-like because those are like some things that you would normally only be able to get in Java Edition. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the number four spot. Let's head on to the number three spot. Next up in today's video, we have the Java Debug Screen right over here. So this is pretty self-explanatory. It basically gives us a new button in our menu over here that is labeled F3. And whenever you press on it, you will get the full-on Java um, Debug Screen over here, which is honestly super duper amazing. And for those guys who don't know, the Java Edition Debug basically tells you a bunch of different things about your, um, you know, your world and your device. For example, it does tell us that we are in creative mode and our game efficiency vanilla server at 20 ticks and where we are we're at the overworld and where we're facing we are facing south and let's see does that actually change yo it actually changes take a look at that that is super cool and the biome is unknown but we have to walk around to fix it apparently and it also tells us our graphics and of course what we're on so currently we are on an android and it does tell us what our input touch is which of course is um input type my apologies which of course is touch and world and it also tells us a bunch of other stuff as well which is honestly super duper cool and it does give us a little FPS counter over there. So currently we're running on like 30 FPS, which is honestly pretty cool. Like, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. 
But yeah, if you want to get rid of this text, all you have to do is press on the F3 button once again, and you should remove it. So it's pretty easy to toggle on and toggle off. You know, it's pretty easy. Nothing really too complicated, but I really do love this texture pack. It's incredibly useful. And of course, it does make your game appear to be more Java-like because that's like a feature that's normally only exclusive to Java Edition. But thankfully with this texture pack, we are able to get that feature in Bedrock Edition and it could be used a lot. But anyways, guys, that appeared pretty much it for the number three spot let's head on to the number two spot next up we have the durability viewer now this is actually a pretty cool texture pack that allows you to check the durability of all your items over here and bam as you can tell we are able to check it over here so we have it for the diamond armor over here and if you um you know select on one it will tell you exactly what item it is and what durability is and along with like a little bar that tells you how much durability it is so this is actually a fresh pair of diamond armor so everything is all the way at the maximum and the same with the items as well we have a couple items over here so bam look if I press on this uh, netherite sword you'll notice that the durability is 2031 oh my god that's a lot actually fishing rod all the way to the maximum uh, trident we can also see it and pickaxe so basically every single piece of tools and armor you should be able to see your durability with and uh, supposedly uh, the, the durability is supposed to go down whenever you do use something so I'm just gonna be using a little bit of my armor and tools so I'm just gonna be trying to you know take a little bit of fall damage and you know just be an absolute menace to society if you ask me so look I'm just going to be going down here once again and bam we took some damage and let's check what um you know what did happen um, so okay now our durability is starting to go down a bit more but basically every single time you use any of your tools or you fall down then you do decrease the durability of your armor and this pack is basically supposed to help you keep track of what's breaking so you know you don't accidentally break something and then you just never get it again without repairing it so uh, yeah we're going to check it one more time Bam, as you can tell, we already used the durability of the Iron Pickaxe over here, which is honestly pretty cool. And we also do get the durability for the shield as well. So literally any armor or tool will have this durability bar over here, which is honestly super duper insane. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the number two spot. Let's head on to the number one spot. On the number one spot, we have the Java Advancement Pack over here, which is basically going to give you Java uh, achievements in MCPE over here. So the way we're actually able to access the achievements is pretty simple. All we got to do is go to the question mark to where it says how to play, and then a bunch of achievements will pop up over here. So bam. <laughs> We have loads of achievements. We have like 28 different achievements and all that cool stuff. So we get like this big massive map over here, which is pretty cool. And every single one of these icons basically tells you exactly what you need to do in order to get that certain achievement. So bam, here's some more achievements as well. So this is honestly really cool. So these are the legacy Minecraft Java achievements before they were replaced with adv uh, advancements on Snapshot 17 W13A. So that's honestly pretty cool. We do get different achievements as well. For example, we have achievements specifically for the nether over here that goes all the way up to literally making a netherite boots, which is honestly pretty cool. Next up, we have stuff for the end as well, achievements specifically for the end. We also have achievements specifically for adventuring as well, which is another cool thing. We also have one for farming, which I did not know. And yes, this is updated to 1.17. We have the exotals in the achievements as well. So that's honestly pretty cool. And over here, it basically gives us uh, like a guide on how to actually navigate through those achievement map thingamajiggies, as I like to call them. So that's honestly pretty cool. And uh, it literally gives you a full on guide on how to do everything. I'm pretty sure this was in the vanilla Minecraft, but I know for a fact this was not in it, the, uh, the achievements, which is honestly pretty cool. So if you ever wanted to literally get the most realistic Java like experience in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and then I highly recommend you download this extra pack over here because it will literally give you Java achievements, which is honestly pretty cool. And you can even get the little Java pop ups in survival as well. But unfortunately, oh, look, look as you can tell it says advancement pack version 3.0 thanks for downloading so whenever you do finish an achievement it will pop up over here saying like achievement done congratulations and all that good stuff so definitely a very good texture pack and i love it to bits but anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video all the downloads can be found in the description down below please like comment and subscribe see you later french fries